Hello colleagues and welcome to this short um, instructional video on how to set up live supervision sessions with your classes on Microsoft Teams. So first of all I'm in Gopher Schools and here is my timetable for the coming week. So I have lessons uh, with Year 11 normally on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So what I want to do is I want to be available and make sure the students are available to um, have some live supervision of the work I set on Gopher Schools during that time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go across to Teams and I'm in my Year 11 team at the moment anyway. So what I want to do is then meet, schedule a meeting. Now I want to see them on Thursday period 5 so I set it up for 10th of January. I set it up for 1.50 p.m. and I set it up for Now again slightly fiddly but just set it up to 2.50 like that so it's now a session then in terms of that I'm going to call it live support period 5 Thursday so it's just a really really clear title for as it appears for the students then I'm going to click on send and as you can see it appears here and the important thing and the easy thing for this is it means that the students and myself can just click in and out of the meeting as and when required so what I'm going to do is on that Thursday I'm going to start off um, live with students I'm going to do a bit of retrieval about the work we've done on Wednesday I'm then going to explain to them the work that we're doing and the work I've set them on go for schools then I'm going to give them 40 minutes or so to get on with it and then I'm going to ask them to come back and have a conversation about the work at the end of the lesson and that seems to me a really really nice simple way to do it the other thing that should happen with this is it will come up in your calendar in Microsoft Teams so you can see just where my normal lesson would be here is my live support session here to help me work with the students more effectively because the more live communication we can give the students during this time, the better. The more they hear our voices, the more they hear us explaining the work. That's really, really important. I think the important distinction here is that it's not a live lesson because in this case, I don't think a live lesson will work alongside the work we're doing alongside Go for Schools. So what you want to do is set some really nice, clear, purposeful work in Go for Schools that the students can follow through. And if they can't access the live session, if they're not available, for any number of reasons, they might be in school having their test. Um, they may not have access to the laptop or um, computer resources either in school or at home at the time that the live support session is happening. So what we want to mean is that these live support sessions, they can't be essential because neither we nor the students have the capacity to be able to do that in an essential way, the same way our live face-to-face -face teaching is. But they can be extremely useful and extremely helpful for students. And that's why I really, really strongly recommend that staff have a go at this and work at it in this system. So any questions as ever, please let me know. But hopefully that's provided a bit of guidance and help how to schedule those live supervision sessions with your students.